Yeah, it does. Well, we're just two days away from a major real estate practice change going into effect. We first told you about this change for both buyers and sellers months ago, but it all starts Saturday. That's right. WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal shows us how the changes will impact home buyers and sellers. So they're not left asking, where's the money? According to the National Association of Realtors, it's been decades since Americans have had to face changes in the way they buy and sell property. Now there will be two main changes as a result of a settlement entered into back in March. The first change deals with the seller and real estate professional. We will no longer be able to uh, make a unilateral offer of compensation on the multiple listing service, the MLS. Kevin Sears, the president of the National Association of Realtors, says that means the seller is still in control. What we need to do is just navigate through those changes and figure out how we will be able to communicate any offers of compensation that will be made. He says buyers will be most impacted with the second change, which requires buyers to enter a written agreement with their agent, spelling out the services that will be provided, as well as the agent's fee. They'll have to have the conversation with the with the buyer and say, if the seller is not offering uh, cooperating compensation, uh, then, then the buying consumer is going to have to pay out of pocket for the professional services that will be provided. The good news for buyers in the Charlotte area, it's about to be a buyer's market. If a buyer can wait, because they need the lower rate, then maybe they should a few more months, maybe even to next year. But if they find the right home for their family and they can afford it, prices have already fallen. Local realtor David Hoffman says after the housing market slow start in the beginning of the year due to high interest rates, now sellers might want to act quickly following the stock market's recent drop. One, prices are going to fall, so they should sell now before it comes down more. But secondly, they need to sell now so they can get the next home and they don't get stuck waiting. Hoffman says when it comes to the changes, he could see the buyer having to pay the commission at times if this was a really hot market like two or three years ago. But as the market slows like we're seeing now, he says buyers and sellers won't see much of a difference in the fees they pay, although the process might sound different. Back to you. And don't forget, we do want to cover the money matters that impact your wallet. And that's really the reason we do these Where's the Money segments. So if you have something our team can look into for you, please reach out. You can send an email to money at WCNC.com or message any of us on social media.